I'm Jack Pine, and uh, I'm a uh, glass blowing artist, and I uh, make my own work. I have a, my own studio down in the Hocking Hills of Southern Ohio now, and uh, I'm well known for my glass pumpkins, probably more so than anything, but uh, I also do a wide variety of other pieces, which is pretty exciting to do now. And uh, yeah, I've been at it for about 150 years. <laughs> Feels like it. I didn't know I was going to get into glass until actually after college. I decided to move to Seattle. One of the, the, the first places I worked at was just a, a little uh, deli and uh, started making a little bit of money and one of the guys that used to come in all the time um, we used to chat it up all the time, but he had a friend that owned a glass studio. This this place was called Ornamental Blown Glass. So it was a it was a production glass studio. So they made Christmas ornament and they made these little oil lamps and they shipped them out to galleries everywhere. He set me up with an interview and when I walked in, I just was blown away. I was it's like seeing all these people working with this molten lava, glass, and fire and the music and the energy that was there and, and I was just totally mesmerized and I just kind of knew then that was, that was what I wanted to do. Once I, I interviewed for them, I kind of told them, I, I said, oh, I, I know how to blow glass. I, I didn't know how to blow glass at all. But they, he's like, ah, you're hungry, you know, we can tell you love it, we'll train you. And th that place ended up folding um, due to their whatever reasons. So I was, uh, I was kind of distraught and I wanted to start taking control of my own situation. So at that point in time, I decided to make my own uh, thing happen. And it was kind of by luck that somebody came up to me and asked me if I could make him a pumpkin for a friend. And this was like 25 years ago. And uh, at the time, we were doing this orange kind of um, iridizing mother of pearl on the glass. And I just put two and two together and came up with this orange pumpkin with a green stem. And uh, it looked really cool. And in the process, I had moved on from that studio that was in, in, in Boulder and then created my own studio with a couple partners. You can't take a break, you can't stop, you can't reverse. And I think that the process is almost as artistic as the finished work. It's kind of freezing someone's um, skills and uh, their passion, if you will. So you, if you see work, and this is like true for probably any artwork, honestly, it's a statement about passion. And the more passionate someone is about their work, the more others want to, you know, have a piece of that.